obvious storyline this week, but just saying, most fierce defensive line you've seen all year. You played them last year. Mm -hmm. Just talk about the importance of your protection this week. Uh, it's, it's like Coach O says all the time, protection is at a premium, uh, especially this week. Uh, we know what type of defense they have, what type of guys they have on that front seven. And it's our job to, you know, to do our job and keep nine clean, and which last year we didn't do, and we saw the results. So uh, definitely going to be reminded of how that game went last year, and we're going to try to we're going to try to avoid that. How much did that game last season stick in? Like, what do you what do you feel more confident about, like okay. pass protection or getting through the game this week? Can you can you repeat the question? With Ed back in the fold, you know, coming mm -hmm. back for the first time last week, what do you feel more confident about? Uh, uh, I say getting the run game going. You know, uh, Ed Ed he's a he's a just a brute force at guard. You know, he's a natural run blocker, and uh, it's it's important for us to get the run, especially in the SEC ball. You know, everybody's good. Everybody you know, great DBs all all over the uh, the conference. So we have to get the run game going so we can free up some 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 of the passing game. I know you kind of touched on it there, but. I Y'all's performance in that game last year as an mm -hmm. offensive line, how much did that stick out in your mind the rest of the season that kind of hung with you? And oh, yeah. even going into this matchup, too, how much do you kind of actively oh, yeah, want to do a better job? It's, it still sticks with me. Uh, I remember we had 11 tackles for loss, five sacks, eight pressures, a sack fumble that changed the momentum of the game. So I'll, I'll be reminding my, my group uh, for the rest of this week that we, we have to avoid that and we have to play better. Do you have any conversations with Sadiq? terms of, hey, you know, challenging him in, in a big spot this week? Oh, yes, the whole group. You know, we all understand, you know, we all, we've been talking about this for, for forever, you know, not not really circling this game, but we've been, we know that this game was coming and we have to, we have to play better and all, everyone, and especially Sadiq, he's been, you know, he had to, you know, uh, he had a tough game just as well as, as everybody, but, uh, you know, he's ready and I, I believe, I believe in him. You know, people talk about the rivalries, a lot of times it's LSU, Alabama, but what is it just about LSU? Uh, you know, it's a great, great two historic programs. Uh, a lot of, a lot of history in this in this game. You know, uh, you go back to 07, Jacob Hester, and all the greats that played in this game. It's just a great atmosphere every time we play. You, you guys were, you know, undefeated going into last year's contest mm -hmm. against Florida, also ranked fifth. Uh, but I would imagine this year's fifth-ranked team feels a little bit different and probably more confident than oh, last yeah. year's team, even with with the offense and. The, just describe the difference in feeling maybe going into this game. Oh yes, yeah, sir. Uh, you know we definitely have a lot more confidence. Uh, you know, and uh, of course it's it's a home game, so you know, we we feel confident that our fans are going to show out and uh, show show up and show out, and they're going to have our back throughout the whole 60 minutes. So uh, it's definitely a different feel for this this year's game. Well, you got two teams that are really good on third down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, so every every week that's that's huge. We have to keep drives alive. Uh, we have to you know give give Joe time to make the throws that we know he can make, and let these receivers make plays on on big third downs. And that's gonna that's been a big emphasis this whole year. Is going to continue this week. Has there been any uptake of your red zone emphasis? Uh, I know you guys practice on three or four days. Oh uh, yeah. With their red zone defense so efficient compared to you guys' offense, is there any emphasis heightened in this week's game? Uh, really, red zone's been hiding this whole year, and we're just gonna keep keep working on it, keep pressing, and uh, we know we understand they're they're a great defense, but you know we feel like we're a great offense, so you know better, may the best man win. Joe's been, um, I, at least just me personally, it seems like Joe's been pretty hypercritical of the offense, and maybe mm -hmm. that's because he's a coach's son. But even when you guys put up big numbers, he's pretty yeah. critical. I just wonder how much is that because going into a game like this against Florida, this is a serious test mm -hmm. defensively, and maybe he doesn't want to blow up his own head going yeah. into some of the matchups that you know you have ahead. I feel like, uh, you know, every everyone, especially Joe, but, you know, the whole offense, we're very hard on ourselves. Uh, even last week, we felt like we didn't play a good game at all. Uh, you know, we had a lot of, you know, 600 yards offense, but it's, things wouldn't, weren't clicking. I felt, we feel like that was our worst game so far. But, uh, and so, you know, every every week we always harden ourselves, and we know, you know, we, we're really about to get tested. So we can, we're going to see what kind of offense we have, and uh, we believe we have a great one, and we, we're going to see this week. As a guy, more for one. as a guy growing up in Baton Rouge, yeah, sold out crowd, two undefeated top ten teams, you finally get some cool weather. Oh yeah. Week, so. 
I can't wait. Uh, right after the game, the Utah State game, I went home, relaxed a little bit, and I, I watched Florida film. I can't wait for this game. It's going to be a great atmosphere. The weather's like you said, it's going to be nice. Uh, all I ask, you know, the, like I know they will. The fans, I just we just need y'all to come out, support, and just get get Death Valley rocking this Saturday. And it's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, it's no no real punishment. They just harp on it so much that, you know, when we don't, when we're doing red zone drills and we don't convert against the defense, we, you know, we disappointed in ourselves and just just push us every day. Just uh, every time we in the red zone, we need we want seven. You know, we don't just want to settle with three points, especially you know, with the test coming up this week and moving on throughout the season, we we need seven when we get to these uh, parts in the red zone. So uh, we just harp on it so much. It just it just. It becomes a habit that we, we got to score. We need to score. No problem.